With spring rapidly approaching, I thought it was the perfect opportunity to talk about an aesthetic that comes up around springtime and summertime, but it's, I mean, it's also known all year round, and that is cottagecore. Cottagecore is a lifestyle movement based on the ideas of simplicity, sustainability, and a deep connection to nature. This was an aesthetic that was developed throughout 2010, and it was based on European rural life, and it was officially named Cottagecore in 2018. But around 2020, it gained massive popularity because people were stuck inside all day, and all we wanted to do was be outside living on a farm, right? At least I did. No? Just me. And ever since then, I keep seeing this aesthetic year after year. We're now in 2024 and it's still around and people are still enjoying it. So today we're gonna to talk about different decor ideas that you can bring into your home to be an ode to this aesthetic. And I would highly recommend trying to thrift all of these items first because a lot of these items on this list are thriftable if you have the time and patience. The first thing is a bed canopy. For some reason, when I think of cottage court, I think of a bed canopy and a bedroom with a bunch of plants all around it. I don't know if this is because I think of flies associated with farm life, which is kind of true, but I used to own one when I was a kid. I don't know why as an adult, it's like something that goes out of style, but they are absolutely beautiful. There are many different types of bed canopies that you can get. I will display some different variations here and I think they're all just so beautiful and really elevate a room and they bring in and diffuse light wonderfully. Number two is to display vintage plates on a wall. This is such an easy thing that you can do. You can actually buy hooks that are meant to hold plates on your wall and this is something that you would see back in the day and again it's one of those things that I don't know why I don't see it in more people's homes. I liked this idea quite a bit just because you can go and thrift plates for a relatively affordable price you know it's gonna cost you like 25 cents to five dollars if that and voila you have like a collection of cute antique plates that's kind of like an art piece number three is an accordion peg wall hanger this is like the perfect the perfect thing to include in your space that is like an ode to English countryside cottage is it not? I love these and it's a simple one. Number four is a wall shelf with hooks and there could be a proper name for this but I don't know what it is and when I googled this name this is what pops up so that's what I was going for and for some reason this particular style of wall shelf is very cottage vibes to me. It's something that I would see in a cottage and that also leads me into the next one which is also equally as perfect and that is a curio wall display shelf. I'm pretty sure that's the proper name. And this gives you the great opportunity to display different trinkets that you may collect, some flowers, some, you know, other cottage core things you would like to include, and it fits perfectly into a cottage type home. Next is to get a window decal. And if you look at old cottages you'll see this type of design on the windows and if you really like this aesthetic and you want to make a major change in your home this is something that would truly stand out to any guest that comes over there is a diy way to do this where you can use electrical tape and you can also buy a decal online which is you know probably a little bit easier but it just depends how you want to do it the next item are doilies this is such a little you know small thing that you can include in your home that you can have on your dining room table or in places throughout your kitchen or you can even get doily um oh my gosh coasters also you can find them in paper at places like the 99 cent store or a local arts and crafts store so it doesn't have to be the crocheted ones you can get them in paper as well the next item are cafe curtains and since we're on the topic of curtains i also wanted to include valances which are also a really great addition to the kitchen and you can include them with cafe curtains another really cool idea that you could do that also includes these cafe curtains is to take off your doors from your cabinets on the lower cabinets in your kitchen and replace them with the cafe curtains and this is not only super creative and unique it's not something you will commonly see in a home today but it gives off that cottage feel the next idea is to display your pots and pans. Now, I would not recommend doing this if you don't have pots and pans that are copper or that are cohesive in color, pretty much, because this is going to make your home feel a bit more cluttered, that is for sure. But if you have pans that are cohesive in color, then it's not going to look as cluttered, it's going to look more intentional. The next one is to bring plants into your home. I personally am a really big fan 
of fake plants, but if you can have real plants in your home, obviously do that. Real plants are great. Just be careful about the plants that are dangerous to your animals. And since we're on the topic of plants, a really cool idea that's almost like an accent wall, if you do it right, is to buy a philodendron and to start hooking it to your wall and let it grow up the wall and create this design, almost like ivy growing on a wall. The next idea, which also has to do with plants, is to pick flowers or pick plants and let them dry out and hang them up. So that wall shelf with the hooks that I mentioned earlier is a really great way to hang your plants, but you can also just go and get a stick from the wild and attach some hemp string to it or any sort of string and attach the plants to it and let them hang and dry out there. It's like a great way to bring in some natural wood material from outside without going out and buying anything because it's kind of like, it's a DIY. And since we're on the topic of dried flowers, you can also place your dried flowers in a picture frame and hang the flowers in the middle of the picture frame. The next idea is to get embroidered pillows. These are really cute accent pillows just in general because not only can you get different types of prints on it, but it also brings in a nice texture into your home. The next idea is a knitted blanket. I do believe this might be called a Afghan blanket if I'm not mistaken. I actually grew up with one of these blankets because my, I think she was my great great grandma uh, had one, she knitted it and we still have it to this day. So every time I think of a cottage home, for some reason this blanket comes to mind in my head. Another blanket that comes to mind is a patchwork blanket. I really like these because you can take different materials and you can just put it together with fabrics you might have laying around or even like old clothing. I've seen people do it with t-shirts. I love these though. I think they're so unique and most of the time when I've seen these in people's homes, there's a whole story behind it. The next decor idea is to weave a flower crown and just let it dry out and hang it on your wall to display. And you can also make a wreath. Just because Christmas isn't here doesn't mean a wreath can't be hung up on your door. In fact, for springtime, it's like the perfect thing to display with flowers. It just brings nature into your home. The next idea is floral candle tapers, or I mean, you could just look for floral candles in general. And these normally have dried out flowers on the outside of them. But there is a DIY where you can paint flowers on the outside of candles using acrylic paint. And I just think this is the sweetest DIY ever. Now, if you are going to paint them yourself and do this DIY, you cannot do it on candle tapers if you are going to burn them because acrylic paint is extremely toxic. If you are going to paint on a candle, do it on a normal candle so that way it's not catching the acrylic paint on fire. Just wanted to put that out there. The next idea is to put your curtains over your door and like surrounding your door frame because I don't know why I don't see this more often, but it's a pretty neat thing that you can do and bring into your home. That looks so cool and I really like it. I really like it. You could do lace, you know, you could have it match your other curtains in your space or you could have the color and print be entirely different. It's totally up to you. The next idea is to curate a selection of vintage plates that have maybe some florals on it or some designs like this. And this is something that you can easily obtain just by thrifting. The next idea is to make a painting and bring it into your space. Incorporate nature and florals and add your special touch to it so every time someone comes over, you get to tell a story about your painting. And since we're on the topic of artwork, of course, floral prints are such a great addition to a cottage core space or just a space in general. It doesn't have to be cottage core. If you are looking for some prints, I would say look for some botanical prints, some pictures of nature, maybe some animals, just to kind of bring the outside inside. The next idea is to build a little propagation station in your home. I have recently started doing this in my kitchen and I absolutely love it. I grow my basil there. The great thing about doing this is not only does it look really cool, but you're bringing color into your space, you're bringing life into your space, and you're creating more plants without going out and buying new ones. The next idea is you could get a birdhouse and even if you live in an apartment, you could just buy a little birdhouse that sticks on the outside of your window to kind of attract animals to your space to make you feel like you're Snow White. The next idea is to get a display case displaying butterflies or insects. If you are going to do this though and buy online, please make sure you are doing your research upon doing this and making sure that all of these insects are ethically sourced. 
The next idea is to display some fake vines in your home. You can add it to an entire wall if you want to go crazy with it. I have it in my bedroom. I love it. I also added some fairy lights in there, which is another idea on my list is to add fairy lights. It's just, it's the sweetest way to brighten up a space with those tiny LEDs. I swear to you, I love them so much. I have them throughout my vines and it looks like stars. Here's a little snippet of it. You probably have seen this video before. And on top of the vines, you could also add some fake flowers to this. I have some fake wisteria that I got off of Amazon along with my vines as well. And even if you didn't have the vines, you could just technically go for the flowers. It looks just as cool by itself. And there are many different ways that you can display the vines and the wisteria alone. You could have it around your bed frame. You could have it on the ceiling. You could have it above your dining room table. There are so many different ways to transform a space with just these two items. I kid you not. And if you're like me and you move a lot, these are like my go-to decor items because they pack down to essentially nothing and when you display them they can take up an entire wall and really transform a room and for everyone asking because i know you're gonna say this arachnids are not attracted to plastic this is why you see fake house plants in homes next is to get some floral wallpaper and add it to your space this can be a bit pricey I would recommend doing the bed sheet hack, which is what I have back here. You can either just nail it into the wall, you can put it up with the alien tape, or you can starch it. I would starch if you live in a space and you're not taking it down for years and years, just starch it on the wall. It's way easier than anything else you're going to do and it's the best bang for your buck. When you remove it from the wall, you wash it and you can use the sheet again. Nothing gets ruined, it's great, it's reusable, and it's inexpensive, I mean, you gotta love it. Of course, we have to talk about window treatments because what is a room without some window treatments? Adding curtains to your space can truly transform it. And especially if you have the right curtains to give off the right vibe. For me, when I think about cottage core, I think about florals. I especially think about lace and crochet and sheer curtains because it diffuses light. It puts off a pattern when the light goes through it. I think about gingham print. I think about stripes and plaid. Another one is ruffles. I know. It's a little different. You might not see it as often, but I feel like it's really unique and fits as well. The next idea is a sun catcher. When the sun hits it, it's like every single day my room changes depending on how the sun is hitting the crystals. I cannot recommend getting a sun catcher enough. Like it's good for my mental health. This is not a joke. It really is. I don't know if there's something to this, but it, it's good for me. It's good for me. An easy one is to just start buying flowers and bring flowers into your home or just buy a flower that grows easily in your home. The next idea is to get an ornate mirror or just get a mirror with a wood frame or my favorite one, oh my gosh, why didn't I say this before, is to get a swivel mirror. A swivel mirror? Oh. For some reason, a swivel mirror reminds me of a haunted house, but it would go, it would go really well in a cottage core home. Don't be deceived if you've seen this in a scary movie because it's not it's not all scary it's cute it's cute the next idea is to get a bird cage and you can just display the bird cage but there are many different things that you could do with the bird cage let me tell you a few okay so the first thing is you can put a bunch of candles inside of it and they can be fake candles because why would you light real <laughs> why would you light <laughs> sorry i've been filming so long why would you light real candles and you could also get a plant, fake plant, real plant, and put it inside of the bird cage. You could hang it from the ceiling and let the plant grow through the bird cage. It looks so pretty. I used to have this in my apartment at one point in time back in the day, and I absolutely, I loved it. You could also use it as like a centerpiece on a table too. The next one is easy and that is a tea set. It's a great thing that you can display on some of the shelves I mentioned earlier and it's something that's also usable. Next, you can start displaying and using tablecloths. I really like tablecloths because when it comes to different seasons, you can change them out to fit the mood you're going for. And there are many different prints that you can go for if you're trying to make it fit into the cottage core world as well. Like you could go with lace, you could go with crochet, you could go with a gingham print, you could go with a plaid. The next idea is bed sheets because if you get sick of it, you can just put on another bed sheet and it kind of goes with your mood. At least for me, I'm like, oh, I want this bed sheet today. It's like an easy way to make your space 
feel different. For bed sheets, I would say go for something vintage. If you can find like a vintage bed sheet, definitely do that. Maybe look for florals, look for a gingham print, a plaid print, look for something that's ruched. I love the ruched texture. Look for something that's ruffled. And on top of the bed, make sure you get a bed skirt because bed skirts are the perfect cottagecore element for a bedroom. You can also add a rug to your space. This is an easy one. You can look for a medallion rug, a floral rug, a Persian rug. There are many different options. I would personally go for something that has some florals in it just to kind of bring in that nature vibe, but a rug is just a great addition to a room in general. You can also look for baskets. Baskets can hold your items and organize your items and it can also fit into a theme really, really well if it's done correctly. You could look for wicker baskets and use them on a open storage shelf to display items. You could put them on top of your fridge, put them in your cabinetry to hide away different things. The next idea is to display your kitchen ingredients in mason jars. This is a really easy one and it's not for everyone, but if you're a big fan of cooking and you kind of like that aesthetic, it's a really cute way to show all of your items in your kitchen. The next idea is to make a collage on your wall. This could have pictures that are cut out or it could be pictures that are in frames. It could also include some dried flowers or any other trinkets that you would like there. As for lighting, you could look for oil lamps, a Tiffany lamp, and a floral table lamp. I don't know what else to call this, but I have seen these so many times thrifting. I actually had one at one point in time. And these are, they're so sweet. They're the sweetest little cottagecore light. I mean, all of the ones I mentioned are, but I really like this one. So that is it for all of my decor ideas. I feel like that was such a long list. Hopefully you didn't get too bored listening to all of my explanations. I will list all of these items below that I could find online if you're just interested in seeing them to get some inspiration when you are going thrifting. And that is it. Hopefully this gives you some new ideas to refresh your home for the springtime and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.